Love you all. Love you. So Mike, could we go ahead with the questions? So it's a very great uh, joy to be, to be here with you with so many people. Uh, we have 130 people here um, in London. And, um, so we have uh, the first question that we have for you. Police King. We're just going to change the screen. <laughs> So the first question is, some of us still struggle to feel comfortable with a personal divine connection with you. Uh, for many Westerners, we find it difficult to worship a living person. How can you help us with this? Yes. So it must be understood <coughs> that oneness is not a cult. If it were a cult, then we would say, relate to one being, a particular teaching, a particular ritual. That is not the case here. Though the Srimurti of Amma Bhagavan is there, what you have got to do is, you have to invoke that teacher, that master, that God, with whom you could relate. And to his teachings, you have, you have to invoke his teachings. Now, for example, let us say, <coughs> you are focused on Christ's teachings and uh, you would like to discover the truth in his uh, teaching love thy neighbor as thyself then you have got to chant that particular teaching 49 minutes when you chant for 49 minutes the teaching enters the deeper levels of consciousness which in turn gets programmed then you have got to take a diksha so that is the teaching you are going to make use of you must chant that teaching, then you must invoke Christ in the same of thee, not Amma Bhagavan, and relate to Christ the way you are expected to relate to Christ or the way you have been relating to Christ. And if you do it correctly, you would actually see Christ in the same of thee. And if you are touching the Padagas, you should be aware that you are touching the divine feet of Christ. So that is how we are going to go about it. And let us say, you were to invoke the teaching, all things are empty. That of course is a Buddhist teaching, in which case you want to chant that teaching for 49 minutes and invoke the Buddha. And you see the Buddha in the stream of the, the same thing applies to the Padukas. And the same thing applies to Islam, or in case you are a Taoist teacher, the same thing has to be repeated. So it is not that you have got to invoke Amma Bhagavan, no. Amma Bhagavan Sri Murthy is there, the Padukas are there. What we have done is, we have done an ancient process called Avahan, which is uh, impregnating our consciousness into the Sri Murthy and the Padukas. Thereafter, how many of our copies you make of this, they have the same power. That's all. Now, in case you want to invoke our teaching, for example, our teaching is love yourself then you must say, I love myself, I love myself, 14 minutes to keep, you have to keep repeating. In that case, you have to invoke Amma Bhagwan. If you are using our teachings, you have got to invoke Amma Bhagwan. And the best way to read to Amma Bhagwan is as mother and father or as a friend. So, you have to choose the divine, which means you are choosing a personality in the divine. The divine itself, if you are invoke divine, 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 nothing is going to happen. <laughs> because, who are you? There is no person there, there are only personalities. What is there is existence, consciousness, bliss. Similarly, the divine too, there is no person there. There are only personalities. The divine also is existence, consciousness, bliss. Since you are existence, consciousness, bliss, the Divine or God is existence, consciousness, bliss. You and God are one and the same. The only difference is in the personalities. Now what are the Lord's personalities or God's personalities? All the awakened beings at the beginning of time, 
and all those who are God realized, they are the personalities of the divine. If you were to remove all those things and say divine, divine, God, God, universal energy, universal love, nothing is going to happen. Just like if I would refer to you as dear Homo sapiens, Homo sapiens, Homo sapiens. <laughs> I have to refer to the So you have complete freedom to invoke anybody you like. The only thing is that person must be awakened or God realized. It could have happened a hundred years earlier or a million years ago. That's not a problem. Every one of these people have become the personality of the divine. You have the right to choose. But you must choose their teaching. The rituals, it is not that you have got to do these rituals or these budgets. We are doing this because it's the only thing we know. We want you to observe this and then create your own rituals based on your culture and your conditioning and your background, your total freedom. So remember, oneness is there to set man totally and unconditionally free. That must be borne in mind. That is why we have been very, very careful in releasing this process for fear that it could be made into a cult. So that's why I have to take a long time and with some precautions and take necessary steps, we are giving this to you. It is your responsibility to see that this does not become a cult. So if you make uh, these changes, I don't think you'll have any difficulty in rating the Sri Murthy. You can forget Amma Baba who the Sri Murthy there. You can invoke the being with whom you could relate. And it will work very, very beautifully. And you'll be able to see that divine, the way they were on this planet. You'll see that. Next question, Mike. question is, um, is it assured that we will move into the golden age at this time? And if that is so, is there any point in continuing to work on environmental protection? Yes, it is very, very important because as we move into the golden age, more and more people will be working for the environment. Right now we do not see a majority of people working for the environment. And once the golden age comes, I think everybody will be involved in this important work. So that's what it means. So the golden age does not mean you stop all environmental work. In fact, you will be more aggressively involved in it. Yes, Mike? Mm -hmm. Good. Very glad to hear that, Mike. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> the next question is, uh, is there uh, somebody said, I really feel that we are back on track in the UK. Do you feel that too? In the yeah, your voice is much clearer. <laughs> I shall try to get it from Tejasa. Yes, uh, looking at you all, I feel we are back on track. <laughs> So, a different question now. In the last few weeks, I've experienced um, some huge shifts in. Um, uh, experienced some huge shifts, and now I walk around and see the beauty and everything uh, the worms, the birds, the clouds, the trees, everything. But I still feel separation from people. Why is this? Yes. Yes. And normally it's uh, very easy to feel connected with the animals, plants, and other living creatures. It becomes quite difficult when it comes to man. But if this were to happen, normally it takes about three to six weeks before you get this connection too. So you don't have to do anything special. It will very naturally and automatically happen. Next question, Mike. <laughs> I am still not able to let go of my past, uh, even though after trying to be with the suffering of pain, what other approach can I use to handle this? I'll get some more clarity on the question. I'm still not able to let go of my past, even though after trying to be with the suffering of pain, what other approach can I use to handle this? It's not a question of you are giving up the past or letting it go. It must drop down of its own accord. 
like some dry leaf from a tree falling of its own accord. It has to fall of its own accord. You should not try to give it up. The very trying to give up the past would make you hold on to the past. So become aware of the fact that you are trying to give up the past. And once you take the dikshas, they will do the job. You cannot do anything about it except becoming helpless. Your job, your effort is to see that you are helpless. That's all. All effort ends there. The only effort is to see that you are helpless. Then the process begins, the diksha takes over and it will naturally happens. <laughs> Next question, Mike. Um, yesterday I felt overcome with the divine and this felt a bit scary. Please, can you comment and uh, have help? Um, I'm thinking that and this could only be said be scary if you are if your God is a very punishing God. Otherwise there should be no problem at all. So in case, you must check about your concept about God and if you are related to a very friendly God, this problem will cease. So I would recommend uh, check out with your concept about God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how can we know that we are awakened? Uh, is talking to you like my best friend, hearing your voice as guidance for everything, a path to awakening? I sometimes get intuitions about dates and literally things happen that day. Yes, the awakened person knows that one is awakened. However, we have been giving teachings every week to tell you what it is like to be awakened. Now, in case there's a little doubt, these teachings would help you to realize that you are awakened. But that's not so important. What is important is these teachings would help you realize that you are not awakened okay. in case you are not. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I feel I have surrendered many times to the divine, but nothing seems to happen. Please, can you help? Yes. <laughs> it looks like a <coughs> You are trying to surrender to the Divine, but that won't help now. By surrender, what they mean is, you have got to realize that there is nothing more you could do about it. It is like throwing in the towel, no? you give up, because you know there is nothing much you could do. That is the surrender we are talking about. The moment that happens, the process begins. But if you are trying to surrender, nothing is going to happen. Yes, Mike. <laughs> uh, while so much has changed in my life by your grace, I'm experiencing a lot of crying this weekend and at other times. Please help me with this. Well, this kind of crying is a very good sign and it's part of the process which means you are getting closer to becoming awakened. It's a very good sign, a classical sign. Yes, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> we have lots more questions, but thank you only gave us this moment. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, shall we move to meditation? Okay. Thank you. Yes. Mm-hmm.